Shares of Alibaba up more than 30 percent this year. Macquarie says they are worth buying at these levels. The firm initiated the stock at overperformed. 231 is the price target. It's our call of the day. Weiss, where are you on this today? So I own it. I have a pretty full position in the stock. What happened this week is that they, they marketed, they sold $13 billion worth of stock at about a 3% dis- not even 3% discount, a small discount in Hong Kong. And my view is that you're going to see with that attention on the name in Hong Kong, typically stocks that are over there that are in China and the A shares market traded at a higher valuation because of scarcity factor. So that, to me, is now going to be the ARP. So they're going to take it higher, and I'm going to go along for the ride in the U.S. You're the only one on the desk who owns it, but, Doc, you've got some K-Web calls. Yep, got some K-Web, uh, which is, of course, uh, Chinese Internet. Uh, it's a way to play many of those stocks. And this is one that, uh, you know, I think Steve's right. This is going to play out to the upside. Uh, it's not just about Singles Day. It's about all the other things that Jack Ma's company is doing. Yeah, let me be clear. If the fundamentals weren't so compelling, I wouldn't be there. Mm-hmm. So I know it's, like, it's a foreign filer. Uh, you know, they file 20K instead of a 10K. But the fundamentals are very, very strong. We just saw that in the last quarter. They're a juggernaut. They're getting into everything. I think you should be there. You know, look, I, you might think I'm going to say it's too expensive, but this is something I'm taking a look at, like Amazon, because both of those names have kind of sputtered. I mean, if you look at a one, one-and-a-half-year chart, they're kind of where they've been. Yes, there's a nice short-term move here. But, who, I mean, who doesn't think that Baba is going to be what Amazon is in, in China? So this is something that I'm taking a look at. What I'm saying is it's coming into the growth at a reasonable price area of the market. It's, it's got a lower valuation than Alphabet. And you own Alphabet, right? I do own Alphabet. Now, the growth, the growth has not been exactly I, the same on the top line, bottom line. I get that. But it should, but it should have a lower valuation yeah. because of things like political risk. It's unlikely that Trump will True. decide to replace the CEO of Google. It is highly, impo- it's highly plausible and has already happened once that leadership at this company can be told what to do, including leave. And as a result, these stocks should have lower multiples than their U.S. counterparts. However, very interestingly, Chinese technology stocks are now 29 percent of the, the China stock market. They are one of the only markets other than the United States that have that much tech. So if we're saying eh, international is not going to be as good, there's not as much tech. Well, here's a here's a market where that's not the case. Um, and it's increasingly growing in size within the MSCI averages. So you might have exposure to Alibaba and Chinese tech companies that you don't even realize just as part of a globally diversified portfolio. I'm not concerned about replacing management there. And if you're talking about Jack Ma leaving, Jack Ma left on on his own. But sure. But well, he's still he's still he's still a very Epstein good Epstein killed for, himself. All right. Well, got it. You, you get it. I'm involved in the stock. Left on his own. He's got an unbelievable private equity arm. It's not like he's not active. He hasn't been thrown in jail. He's still out there preaching for the Communist Party, which he's come out as a member of. So the Chinese really want to open their markets. They want to make their market a go-to market. They're not going to do that. Well, that I agree with. By arbitrarily saying, okay, the big one of the biggest companies here. Ah, see you later. We're going to lock you. That, up. I, that I agree. With. That I agree with. That's one of the most important fundamental goals of the Chinese government from an investing perspective right. is the legitimization of the currency and the stock market. So I agree with you on that.